Less than a week ago, I created my new Pokemon channel, The Cat's Meowth, and already it's climbed to 500 subscribers. I've been very impressed by all the great, amazing support that I've been getting from everyone in the Poke community, and can't really ask for much else. I think everyone's doing a great job spreading the word about the new channel and getting old subscribers from Computer 3 and CSU, as well as some new subscribers that I never had before, come join the new channel, The Cat's Meowth. So for my 500 subscriber announcement, I'm going to increase the number of booster packs that I'm going to be opening up from 640 to 724. And that officially breaks the record for the most booster packs opened up at once. The current record is held by the SMG Quest, a really good friend of mine and a great Poketuber, so if you're not subscribed to him, I highly recommend going and checking him out. Not only was he the first one to break primetime Pokemon's record, but he also does a lot of other great openings on his channel, both English, Japanese, old school, new school. He's just a great collector and has a variety of different things that he opens up, and his channel is definitely one that everyone needs to be subscribed to if they like to see openings. He's going to be holding that record for a few more weeks because I still want to get my master set uploaded first, and that is just taking way more time than I ever could have imagined to get ready. And I also have more booster packs beyond the three sets that I'm going to be showing in this video to reveal in the future. So since 500 subscribers on my new channel is a pretty big deal, I thought I would show all Japanese sets for the subscriber announcement. So first up we have a Japanese red collection box, the second expansion of the black and white series. It's pretty cool because it has a little bit different artwork on it, sorry about knocking the camera right there. It shows uh, pretty much bits and pieces of the various card artwork all over the box. And these boxes are pretty small, only 20 packs and only 5 cards in each pack. The same with the, and you can only see the bottoms of them, but the uh, Psycho Drive and Hail Blizzard boxes that you see at the top, one there and one over there. And I am considering, before doing my massive opening, is possibly buying more of these boxes just to uh, try and get closer to it getting a substantial amount of the sets. So if anyone has any recommendations, I'm thinking of opening three of each. So uh, three Red Collection, three Hail Blizzard, and three Psycho Rush. And I think that'll get me relatively close to completing the sets, and then I can just buy or trade the remaining cards that I need. But if anyone has any suggestions, I'm more than happy to hear about them. But overall, this is still a pretty cool little box, and I was pretty excited that I was still able to get a first edition one, being that they've uh, it's been released for a little while. So we'll set that right in the middle. The next set that I'll be opening up is the Japanese equivalent of the Rising Rival set. This is, I believe it's called Bonds to the End of Time, or something similar to, some, something to that effect. It's a pretty cool box. Um, it's got, um, the plastic has been torn a little bit here, but it's still considered to be sealed. I'm really not concerned about the condition of the boxes that I'm buying, as long as they are still sealed, because I'm going to be opening them up anyways. So the artwork on this is pretty cool. They've got, um, like, like the red collection, they've got some clips of the actual art. Uh, we've got some silhouettes of it looks like the gym leaders on the back, some more silhouettes of the art on the sides, and uh, nothing on the bottom. And then just um, some of the featured Pokemon here. I believe this is an unlimited edition. I'm not seeing a first edition stamp anywhere. And I'm honestly not sure first edition and limited editions how they how they worked in Japan uh, if they were for all the sets some of the sets I I just I'm not an authority on Japanese cards yet but I definitely hope to be learning more as I open some of this stuff up so pretty excited about this box uh, it's Rising Rivals is a really awesome set or Bonds of the Earth, uh, Bonds of the End of Time obviously and I think there's just some great cards in here that I'm hoping to pull so we'll do that for now and I'll rearrange this at the, my background at the end of the video. So the last set that I'll be showing is another Japanese set and I figured since if you've kind of noticed I went from a newer set to a relatively new set but still a set that's several years old. So now we're going to go even older back to the Neo series and I will be opening up a bunch of loose Neo 2 packs. So as you can see this was um, I guess really got a great deal on eBay for these. It's a partial box of uh, 44 Neo 2 packs 
and as you can see it came with the original booster box even though it's kind of torn up a bit um, it's missing the top but it's still kind of cool to just to check out yeah, you can still see that you know um, the artwork on here is still a lot more creative than some of the English artwork that we've had on our boxes the actual Pokemon artwork isn't all that great I mean that's a little more cool I think but I really like the background uh, you can see like some um, a, like a temple and a forest that's like a volcano right there and I'm uh, not quite think that's just part of the the forest expansion there so really cool and then this is what um, all the packs have the same artwork on them so that's a little different than the English sets. So it goes back there, but that's what these look like. And uh, I got Smeargle, a trainer, and some unknowns. So pretty cool. And there's a scissor. So I'm really excited to be opening up some um, more old stuff. So I think what I'll do is just kind of slide this here for now. And we'll just put that there. Um, yeah, this will probably change quite a bit uh, over the next few videos but um, I think what I'll do is make my next announcement at 700 subscribers since it's been moving so fast hopefully I think the subscriber count has started to slow down a little bit which is kind of a good thing for me because it gives me a chance to kind of catch up on some other videos rather than just making announcement videos. I love the subscribers, keep them coming, but it's kind of hard to uh, put these videos out consistently. But if I notice that it's taking you know, more than a week or something like that to get to 600 subscribers, I might push my 700 subscriber reveal back to 600. So it just depends on how fast things move. So again, thank you to everyone for your support, for your subs, for your views, and I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more of my old school openings to come.